Hey, it's Phoebe, and today I forgot to film an intro, <laughs> but I'm in Hamburg. <laughs> Nestled along the serene banks of the Elbe River, Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany, right after Berlin. It's home to art museums, gorgeous architecture, and an infamous red light district, where the Beatles first made their mark in the 60s. Now, it's my first time visiting this historic city, and in this episode, I'm determined to fall in love. With Hamburg, that is. <laughs> but first, to get here, I caught the train from Berlin using my URL pass, which I purchased through Klug. I'll have that linked below for you. It took around an hour and 45 minutes to get here, and even though I didn't need one, I still made a seat reservation, and glad I did. Once I arrived, I caught the local train, one stop to my hostel. It was seriously so fast and so easy to get here. I checked in, got settled and got a great sleep, which is kind of crucial because I'm up really early this morning because I'm on my way to a place that everyone told me to go to in Hamburg. It's a Sunday morning. This only happens on Sunday mornings. And when I was telling people, hey, I'm going to Hamburg, they're like, you have to go here and do this thing. So I'm up, I'm going to the place we're gonna do the thing, but first we have to get there. It's like a half hour bus ride. I mean, public transport in Germany, so far in my experience, super easy to work out. So let's see if we can do that <laughs> and get ourselves to the place to do the thing. We absolutely missed the bus, totally missed it. Um, it drove off as I was walking towards it and I should have run for it <laughs> to make sure that I make it instead of vlogging. There you go. Um, the bus comes every 10 minutes. Thank you, Germany. But the place we're going to closes early. So we do need to get there ASAP or I think we're gonna miss out. Let's just see what happens. Somehow, against all odds, we have made it. And I'm so glad because the Fischmarkt is a Hamburg institution. It's been a trading hub since 1703. And apparently everything that is not nailed down has been traded here since the early 18th century. But it isn't just popular among pirates, seafarers, YouTubers. It's also popular among party goers. Um, I didn't know this, but Hamburg is a bit of a wild party city owing to its red light district, the Reeperbahn. No, I can't film there. I'll get rolled by some bounces if I try. So I have no B-roll, but you just need to think of places like Amsterdam, Vegas, Nashville. There have been so many like bachelor and bachelorette parties staying where I'm staying and I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but anyway, apparently the move here is to go party all night and then at 5 a.m. make your way here to the fish marked for something very specific. So I'm gonna have a wander around and see if I can find the thing so we can try it. All right, that was a mission. I was panicking, nowhere, nowhere took Apple Pay and I was freaking out because I also didn't bring my bank card and I couldn't withdraw any cash. I was walking around and every store I queued up at, they were like, no Apple Pay, no Apple Pay, no Apple Pay, but I found it. I found the one fish brochin shop that was selling fish brochin and you can pay with Apple Pay. Um, I also found the only coffee shop that is taking Apple Pay as well. Now you may think, Phoebe, you're crazy. Why did you not have your bank card with you? Why did you not have cash? Because everywhere else I've been on this trip so far, everywhere takes Apple Pay. This is the first time this has happened to me. But we got there, we found it. And now you know there is some way you can get your fish brochin with Apple Pay. But you should definitely aim to have cash because it's a lot easier. So I really hope this is worth it now. It looks so good. So fish brochin is... I mean, fish brought into me, it sounds like fish bread, right? So we've got a lovely, fresh, delicious, crunchy roll with some fish inside. Now I walked up to the lady that ran the shop and I was like, hey, this is my first time having a fish brought in. I don't know what to have, what would you recommend? And she recommended this for me. She said, go for the salmon, it's my favorite. I think you'll love it. I'm gonna have a delicious oat milk flat white from a cafe nearby. And it just looks so good, oh my gosh. Okay. That's delicious. I am so glad I came down here. When my alarm went off this morning at six, I was against it. I was like, maybe I should just grab breakfast at a cafe or something. That would have been a mistake. It is an awesome atmosphere down here. I, I don't really understand why 
but there's a party going on. People are drinking pints of beer. There's a rock band. There's dancing. It's like it's like these worlds collide down here. It's all kinds of amazing. It is such a good atmosphere. I'm I'm already off to a really good start. This has been one of the best mornings I've had on this trip so far. I love it down here. I love fish brochen. Let's try the coffee. The coffee is excellent. <laughs> it's all really coming up Millhouse today. It's all really coming together for me. down on a Sunday and it closes at 9.30 a.m. sharp. When it comes to time, the Germans aren't messing around and I really respect that. At exactly 9.30 on the dot, some announcement went out. Look, I don't speak German, but I got the feel of it. It was the market is closing. Get your stuff together and get out. <laughs> so if you do want to come here, make sure you bring some cash <laughs> or visit the spots that I showed you and make sure you are here sometime between 5 and 9.30. Now, one thing I'm trying to do on this trip is slow down the pace a little bit. I feel like I've been going so fast in all the other destinations and I'm here in Hamburg and I want to be a bit more present. I want to slow down. I want to enjoy it more. So normally what I would do is get on public transport and just belt it to the next location so I could start filming. Not today. I don't know what he said. Someone translate. <laughs> so instead of doing that, I'm going to walk. It's only about a 30 minute walk to get where we're going. The harbour front down here looks beautiful. I really want to be present and experience it. So. This is it. This is all part of my love affair with Hamburg today. Slowing down, being more present, and really taking it all in. I am so glad we walked. That was 100% the right call. It is beautiful. Hamburg is beautiful. I am obsessed with the buildings. It's sort of the, the brick facades make it look really old, you know, like really historic, but it's so modern somehow. It's not like old in a dated way. It looks like it was just built out of like a, fa a fantasy or something. It's so beautiful. Um, so I walked from where we were at the fish market to here at the Elbe Philharmonie. Apparently this is one of the must visit places. Now, looks like tickets to get up to the plaza are free, but there's a big queue for those. So you can jump online and you can book a ticket and skip the queue. It was like a three euro processing fee all up. It was like five euro fifty or something. I paid via PayPal. Um, nice and easy. And we're gonna go up there and check out the views and see if it's worth it. Look, all these people are up here. That's about to be us. <laughs> uh, I saw this online, but seeing it in person is wild. The escalator that takes you up to the plaza is curved. And I'm pretty sure it's like the only curved escalator in the world. It's wild. It's like a full arc. Is that, is that super dorky to think that's awesome? If you saw it, if you were here in person and you saw it, you would think it's awesome too. It's absolutely crazy. 
the views from up here are spectacular. I really like this. I was skeptical because I thought, well, when you're up here in this beautiful building, you don't get to see the beautiful building. And that's an issue for me. I want to see the beautiful building. So I was a little unsure if it was going to be worth it. But the fact this is free or three euros if you book online, whoa, that is good value. It's such a good way to gain an appreciation for Hamburg by getting over the top of it and really seeing it from that bird's eye view. It is gorgeous. Now there are a lot of people up here but it's not too crowded. Um, they do have a cafe. I was gonna get a coffee and just kind of sit and enjoy the views for a while but when I walked to the cafe it was one of those machines where the lady just presses the button and after Paris I'm not doing that anymore. So what I want to do is go for a bit of a walk around this area and see if I can stumble across a really beautiful cafe so we can sit and have a coffee Coffee and really get the feel of Hamburg. I want the locals experience you guys. Hamburg's history is one of transformation and resilience. Beginning as a medieval trading port, it flourished as a Hanseatic trading hub, enduring fires, conflicts and economic shifts. Evolving into a center of enlightenment and culture, it rebounded from World War II devastation, where half the city was reduced to rubble during bombing raids by the American and British. Somehow, Hamburg has endured it all, forging on to become a modern metropolis known for its innovation, art scene, diverse neighborhoods, and bustling harbor, embodying a captivating journey from medieval roots to contemporary vibrancy. Walking through the city, I'm just taken back by how sleek and well organized it is with no skyscrapers and some two and a half thousand bridges crossing canals, rivers and streams. It has more bridges inside its city limits than any other city in the world. It's almost like a movie set, a truly beautiful city that feels safe and accessible. So easy to enjoy and be a part of without you even having to try. I've never been anywhere else quite like Hamburg. It is such a beautiful part of Germany. And to be honest, I nearly overlooked it. I nearly skipped it. And I am so glad I didn't. Look, this is so cliche. I hate it when you get on someone's travel blog and they're like, just walk around. Literally, you just have to come and walk around here. It's so beautiful and it feels so safe to me. You know, I'm just walking around, vlogging, camera out without a care in the world, just being full tourist today. Um, but I did really, really, really need a coffee. So I just walked and I found this place called Spiegerstadt Cafe Roastery. Sounds like Spiegerstadt Coffee Roastery to me. <laughs> and I think if you're located here and you roast your own coffee, that's a good sign. Now when I walked in, there were two sections. There was like a sit down cafe, which didn't look like what I was into. It was like just all these tourists in there sat down eating their stuff. And I was like, no, I feel like being like outdoors. So I just went to the little takeaway spot and I got this. Um, it's an oat milk cappuccino. Yes, they take Apple Pay. They also have lots of cakes and goodies in there as well. Um, and they only do a cappuccino in the big size, which is interesting. And I don't know what it is about Europe, but when you order a cappuccino, you, you only get half a coffee. Not loving that, Europe, not loving that. Um, but I will say this, I am a little bummed out because like five meters down the road is something called Barossa, and that actually looks like more like what I was looking for. It's kind of a cafe with an outdoor seating area. So I don't know if the coffee's any good, but that looked like a nice spot as well. So you might want to check it out, but let's, let's hit up the old speaker start cafe roastery and see if it's any good. Oh, <laughs> that is delicious. Starbucks at home. Ever, ever, ever. I would not be caught dead in a Starbucks at home. And yet, <laughs> when I travel, 
and I see a Starbucks, something about it, it's like comfort, like even though I know the coffee isn't going to be great, I know it's going to be passable and it's like a comfort food almost, comfort drink. Oh my gosh, alright, sorry. I saw online people were saying, come come to the Plantenblumen. I think that's just like a botanical garden here in Hamburg. All the photos online looked really nice. Um, and all this part of me falling in love with Hamburg and slowing down and kind of taking my own pace, the Plantenblumen is for me. And it is beautiful in here. Now, this is a really great free thing to do. I would absolutely recommend picnicking here if it's a beautiful sunny day like it is today. The sun has been out, the weather has been perfect. Just an ideal 24 degrees all day. All the Germans are really happy, everyone's out and active. I've got my coffee. Now, I, normally I just get an iced oat latte. Today I've branched out an iced brown sugar shaken oat espresso. Who knows what that is? I don't take sugar in my coffee, so I have a feeling this could have been a mistake, but it was an impulse purchase, so let's see. Yeah, that's way too sweet. That's obscene. <laughs> yeah, definitely should have stuck to just a, <laughs> a regular ice start latte, but you know what? You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Now, if you walk through the Plantenblumen, um, they have all these really great white seats and benches overlooking the kind of lake area. So lovely. Beautiful trees, flowers blooming, bees buzzing around, ducks. It's just heavenly. I really am falling for Hamburg. I really, really am. I think it's such a pretty city. It's so beautiful. It's so easy to navigate. It's really flat. I've just been walking everywhere. In fact, my steps must be through the roof at this point. It's very, very walkable. I've just been taking it slow. The public transport's easy to work out. The whole thing is just so accessible and dreamy. It's like a fairy tale city. Um, I, I think it could even be my favorite German city that I've ever visited, and I've visited quite a few. I just think it's it's stunning and so accessible. I feel so safe, so at ease. It's like, I don't know, it's just beautiful. Oh, the, the sun is out. I'm gonna kick back and relax with my super sweet coffee. Ooh, what a great day to be me. set up selling all kinds of food. The whole place smells like sugar, let me tell you that much. If you have a sweet tooth, you're in for a real treat. But they also have lots of cool things like beer gardens, they have like the spiral potatoes, they have bratwurst, currywurst, they have every kind of carb imaginable. The whole thing is insane. Even somebody was like pumping out bubbles and when the bubbles burst, they actually smoke. And I don't know how that's possible. I'm overstimulated. I don't know where to start. There are so many people here. I just, I'm, how is this real? What is Hamburg? I can't get a handle on it. A very large part of me wanted to go to town on all that food and all those rides. <laughs> but here's the thing. I don't feel like going on the rides by myself because Everywhere I've been today, everybody's all booed up and they're all snuggling and holding hands and stuff and I'm sick of it and I get away from it. And if I eat all those sweets, I'm going to have the worst tummy ache and I'm trying to make better choices and not eat food that makes me violently ill. Um, so instead, I'm going to do the thing that I would actually do if I wasn't filming. This is like a little insight into what I actually do in my actual travel life when I'm not filming. Um, basically, we're going to go fill the 
the empty hole in our lives and our soul with food. Um, and to get there, we're going to catch the train. Now the public transport system here in Hamburg is awesome, it's fantastic, it's so easy to work out, it's affordable, it's just easy, it's safe and wonderful. He loves it. <laughs> For accommodation, I'm staying in a private room here at A&O Hostel, Hamburg City. Now this hostel is huge. It is probably the biggest I have ever seen and stayed at. It is truly a maze and they've packed a lot into the place. There's a self-checking kiosk, plenty of places to sit and work or just relax and hang out, a hotel bar, billiards, foosball, kids corner, popcorn machine and vending machines, a guest kitchen, laundry and buffet breakfast. Now my room is really comfortable and perfect for my stay. I loved how spacious it is with a desk for me to catch up on work as I go, a private ensuite, I can open my suitcase all the way up and my favorite thing these huge windows which let in lots of gorgeous light but also you can sit here and watch the trains coming past which is something I really enjoy. Now check-in time here is very 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 busy because this place is super popular so if possible my tip for you is arrive before or after 3 p.m. to avoid that peak time. Now importantly there is a great supermarket really close walking distance and a train station which allows you to explore Hamburg very easily and get back to the central station if you are catching the Eurail or Interrail around like I am. This is it. Welcome to my happiest of times. One of my, one of my favorite things to do when I travel and I never film this and I'm gonna start filming it. I love to go to local grocery stores and there is a, there is a really really juicy one around the corner from where I'm staying at the hostel. Like really, it's one of the best ones I've come across when I'm traveling. It's super local. It's one of those like real budget ones and it's huge. And what I love to do is just spend hours just prowling around. I wanna see what you got. I wanna see your snacks. I wanna see your gluten-free section. I wanna see your plant-based options. I wanna know what you call different things. I could spend hours, in fact, I might just just start a whole second YouTube channel dedicated to prowling around grocery stores when I travel. I'm that into it. Um, anyway, I found this great one last night and it's right around the corner from here. It's epic. I was going to go back there because the sushi was so good. Best supermarket sushi I've ever had. Um, but it was, it was closed. It's Sunday and it's closed on Sundays. I'm devastated. I'm going to try and film it tomorrow. I'm going back tomorrow. I need another look in there. Um, I'll film it tomorrow and I'll try and include some b-rolls so you can see what I'm talking about. Instead, I caught the train to... I don't know what it's called. Ed... Ed the cow? Ed cow? Something. I'll tell you. It'll be on the screen. I'll Google it. Um, and I've got to help my stomach recover from what I've been doing to it. I've got myself a little spicy tuna poke bowl. Thank goodness the Germans love sushi or I'd be in trouble. <laughs> and what I'm about to do right now is my happiest of travel times. It's where I put on my baggiest outfit <laughs> and I fire up the laptop and I watch movies while eating in bed. It's high risk, high reward. If you spill, you had a real problem on your hands, but if you pull it off, it's super, super happy. Um, let's, let's try this Pokeball and see if it's any good. Bone up the teeth. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. This is so good. I just think that like some days of the epic adventures, right? Some days you're you're climbing mountains and you're eating Michelin star food and you're, you know, exploring hidden cities and other days you're just chilling. You're just at the fish market, you're walking around the plant and bloom, you're at the supermarket, you're watching movies. And they're all good. Some days are crazy busy and some days some days are more chill. <laughs> Alright, enough talking. Um, did I fall in love with Hamburg? Yes. Hamburg and I are together now. We're in love. <laughs> Hamburg's gonna have to be my pseudo-boyfriend until I get a real boyfriend. 
which might have to be soon, I gotta tell ya. It's been, like, I, my breakup happened eight months ago, and I've been taking this time to, like, work on myself, and I haven't been ready to meet anybody, um, and there hasn't been anybody. I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm starting to get ready to meet somebody, but not in a rush, I think. It would just be, just be nice to go on a date, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to date, but we'll figure that out later. All right, and with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode, and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great week ahead, and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya!